Hi everyone, it's Paris here from Mount Eliza in Melbourne. How is everyone? I'm having my Moulin tea. I'll let you know what it is. Today, I'm going to be very, I'm not going to keep you long, but I'm going to talk about why I listen to the media and why I believe that um, a lot of people are delusional and in denial. And I'll explain why. I've been saying for a couple of years that I've been listening to the media and reading the media since at least 15, 16 at least. And even more so as I get older, because as we get older, we're meant to get more, um, we want to better our lives. So we want to learn as much as possible so we can have a better life, right? Okay, so whenever I've said the past two years, especially with all the fake people online, when I've said that um, I listen or read to the media, let me explain what I mean by that, because a lot of people are twisting what I mean, or they've completely lost it up here. So, for instance, I'm going to go now, I'm in Australia, and I'm going to go on news.com, and I'll just put down my country music, news.com.au. So I post a lot of things online, and I say, I listen and I read the media, and maybe I suggest it to people to do the same so you can find out what's happening in the world. And then I get the trolls and the haters, because that's who they are, who come back and say the media is bullshit, it's all bullshit, it's all bullshit. Right. So let me ask you if this is bullshit, friends. Right. Traumatic. Teens got killed in an accident. Right? This is, this is, I'm looking at five teenagers got killed and one is in hospital. Right? So this is in Sydney, southwest of Sydney. So I'm asking the haters and the trolls, is that bullshit? This is on news.com.au. Let me see what else news.com.au is saying. Our, our hopeless Labor Prime Minister wants to introduce a new law to get older Australians to downsize. Now, I consider myself, I don't know, my younger, older. I feel I'm younger. Why the hell should older people sell their properties? But what he's doing is, is he's allowing some kind of tax benefit for a year, which is really bullshit, because you're going to end up paying it probably when you drop dead or your people who are uh, gold digging, you will have to pay the taxes, right? This is news also. Is that bullshit on news.com.au that the Labor Party is introducing different laws? Let's see what else you've got. Young girls pain after friends died in crash. Is that bullshit? People dying. It's in the media. Is that rubbish too? Body of a kidnapped billionaire heiress found over in America. Is that bullshit in the media too? A woman went jogging and she got killed. Is that bullshit? Haters and trolls, you've, you're all psychopaths. You're beyond the narcissistic. You're gone for psychopaths. Let me see what else is on, on the, in the media, right? Let me see what else there is. Um, there's issues with Meghan Markle, which are happening. There are issues with all sorts of celebrities. Four people charged of a gang rape of a woman who's 22 years old. Is that bullshit in the mainstream media? A male or a female getting raped. Is that bullshit? Terrifying moment of a teenager riding a scooter attacks a mother... So there's a teenager riding a scooter. He attacks a mother who's taking her two kids for a stroll and he's grabbing her from the hair. Is that bullshit in the freaking fucking media? And I'm really angry and I'll tell you why I'm angry. Because I haven't heard one person online say to listen to Insight programs on TV, to listen to documentaries to watch the local papers where they're lifting the interest rates, which is fantastic. Because if you've got cash in the bank, you're getting more interest. And it is fantastic that it's only 5, 6, 7% compared to 20%, 21, 22% when it was in the 90s. Remember we had the recession and the people out of jobs and businesses breaking down? You know why? Because in the late 80s, when I was too young, wasn't even 20 yet, the Australian Wool Corporation and all the fashion houses all went over to China. So there was stuff or jobs. And not only because of the fashion industry, but also the industrial businesses in Australia, everything made in Australia got shut down. No one gave a shit then, because they were all getting handouts from the government. Now, the mainstream media is telling you what is happening in the world, and what is happening in Australia. They don't have to tell you the reason behind it. They don't have to tell you why someone bombed this or why someone bombed that, what's really happening. Right, that's for our brain to figure it out. We can't be spoon-fed with everything. 
but there are facts. They are telling you everything that's happening in the economy, in the business world. The people aren't working. Why? Because they're all off at fucking Bali. Holidaying. It seems you're right for fucking being stranded at the airports. Because you knew before you went on holidays that Qantas and a lot of the... It was mainly Qantas, right? Who are... Um, who, was, who have... Who have not got this system right. This has been happening for decades. How do I know? Because I've been working for fucking 14 and I've seen in the corporate world, public service, private sector, what has been going on. There are no systems or processes in place. I've worked as executive secretary, as high level secretaries, for CEOs. I've worked in, all, in restructures. I've worked in so many industries and so many companies since 14. And I've seen all this stuff happening. I knew from 15 that, the, that they were going to get rid of the cash. And suddenly you get all these fake Jewish groups, the Reignite Democracy and all them, scaremongering the naive and that bloody idiots. Because you're either naive, which I accept, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know everything, right? Or the bloody idiots, which you throw information in their face and you say, we've known about this stuff. I've had bank managers tell me this from 15 that they're going to get rid of cash. And you know what? The only people who really want cash are the drug dealers and people who are hiding stuff. Because we get paid electronically. I don't know how the rest of you, if you get paid cash, then there's something not right. That means you're not getting your super, you're not getting your benefits, and you're doing something illegal. Right? But predominantly, most of us who have got normal jobs and everyday jobs are getting paid electronically for decades. Now... You don't watch tacos. You don't watch anything on TV. Wake up. Wake up. You watch Insight. Last night they were talking about people who, who get married once, twice, three times. There was a lady getting married 11 times. She didn't want to just be in a normal relationship. She wanted to get married. So what? You can marry 100 million times. You're not bothering anyone. Right? They were talking about relationships and how relationships work and what happens. And people break up and then they get together. These things happen. That was Insight. Monday night on um, Dateline, what were they talking about? How the idiot Alan Joyce, who they've put in that position to run Qantas, how he has stuffed up Qantas and pilots are whinging and staff are whinging. Well, let me tell you something. I'll tell you what they were saying. They were saying, they were, the, the journalist was interviewing Alan Joyce of Qantas Australia, the airline, in case you don't know, and saying, why are some people getting paid, let's say, $10 an hour, and people who you've hired from another company are getting paid $20 an hour? Boo fucking who? I've been, I've been contracting and temping for decades in my life, and I was getting paid $50, $100 less than people that were underneath me because I was with the wrong contract agencies. This has been happening forever. But because the pilots and air hosters and all these people, because I've bumped into these people, and they have been sports shitless from the ANSET days. But because suddenly things aren't going their way, and suddenly we've got state elections coming up, you see, and Labor doesn't want to lose a Labor seat in Victoria. This is all, it's all about the state elections coming up. Everything that's happening today has been happening for decades and ever. And I tell you what. We are at the best time in civilization in Australia. In Australia. When I see after lockdowns that there are thousands of people traveling to Bali, thousands traveling. Greece has got the highest tourism ever has recorded. The highest tourism ever. When I see people traveling to Spain, to France or whatever, after lockdowns, if you can still afford to go on holidays, and we are the luckiest country on this planet. And you know why? Because we've been spoon fed with the handouts. People have been getting handouts up until what, what was it, May? Seven fifty a week. You don't get these handouts in other countries. You don't get these handouts. So going back to why I watch documentaries and news and programs, they are telling us what is happening in the world. There's a lot of people under there that are hypochondriacs, always complaining and whinging, um, in denial, always in denial. And love whinging and complaining because they want someone else to pick up the pieces for them. They want someone else to do the dirty work. Well, you fucking work two, three, four, five, ten jobs a day, a, a week, like I did, right, most of my years. You pay your own mortgage instead of daddy buying the house for you. 
right? You live a life the way a lot of people who've succeeded have worked on their own. And you know what? People who are multimillionaires and billionaires, their kids fucking work in the business. Their kids work in the business and a lot of people out there, oh, the stupid Kardashians and the stupid Trumps and the stupid this. I'm not saying I like them or whatever. I've got nothing to do with them, right? They've been fucking working the Kardashians on TV. They've been controlled and manipulated from kids in TV, in the TV industry from kids. So if you want to swap their life and be controlled and manipulated the way they were, while they've ended up with the billions, because that's the only way you can end up with millions and billions, is, is to be to sacrifice, to be sacrificed. You don't want to hear this stuff. People don't want to hear this because people want to be rich but doing nothing. They think you just buy a couple of properties, rent them out, and you become rich. They don't realize you've got to get your hands dirty, you've got to clean toilets, you've got to clean people's shit, you've got to clean stuff, you've got to do things. This is the problem in Australia. And it's even worse. Why? Because we get the social... Not me. Because people get the social benefits here. This is why. And they've all been lying that they've got COVID symptoms and COVID this and COVID up their asses so they can get all the payments that they've been getting up until May. Now, the petrol excise, which is also in the news, friends, surprise, in the media, it's telling you everything. The petrol's going up, but a lot of you are going to turn around and boo-hoo, end of September. Oh, shit, the petrol's going up. Look what they've done to us, the elite. Look what they've done to us, the agenda. They're out to destroy us. It's been in the fucking media for over a year, right, that the petrol, that they cut the excise taxes, the government. The government is not putting the petrol up because they need money. They don't need money. They can print money. They're putting it up because they can to get extra money on top of the printed money. They don't need taxes from us. The, the taxes are private companies. Just like the police agencies are private businesses. Right? They don't... That's why they can do whatever they want. Look, imagine people who, who did the wrong things during lockdown. Right? Didn't get arrested. Why? Because they're all Jewish co-ops. All of them. And not just Jewish. And the Cypriots and the Greeks and all the Italians. They're, they're all working for government. This was just to deter and scare people when it worked. They're all fake. Because let me tell you something. If I go now and do something wrong, illegal, I'll get arrested straight away. I'll get arrested straight away. Yet these people did the wrong thing during lockdown and they didn't charge them. And it's nothing to do with the elections. Nothing to do. Because I'll tell you something, Labor's going to win. And I'll tell you why Labor's going to win. Because I'm on the internet and the news and everything 24-7, because my work is a lot computer related, and I'm on top of everything all over the world, economics, business, everything. And I have not seen, Liberal has not reached out to me, has not said anything to me. The Liberal Party in Australia has said nothing to me to try and lure them in. No one from the Liberal Party has approached me or their paid ads on Facebook. No one. No one from the Liberal Party. And that's why I like, because there's no one else. Now, as for the independents, they're another bunch of, of fakes. The Teals in Victoria and all over Australia. When you hear that chick, that independent who was in Victoria or in Sydney, when she said she became, she bought shares from a, um, a fossil fuel company, and they're against fossil fuels, right, these independents. They're all greenies, right, because that's what they are. They really are greenies, right? She bought shares in a fossil fuel company so she can get to another company. I'm thinking, we're not all on drugs, lady. We're not all fucking stupid. You don't need to buy shares to get to know a company. Did you know that, friends? I've been going to the stock exchange since 17, and I studied the stock exchange for decades and shares. You don't need to. You just look at the annual reports online. They're all free. Oh, but that's in the news. It's in the media. We're not going to watch the news in the media. Let me tell you something else, friends, in Australia. Did you know that plastic surgery is unregulated? Oh, yes, I learned that in the media. There was an OBC media. Yes, yes, the bad media that doesn't tell us the truth. Because that is the truth. The truth is that it is unregulated and people are getting plastic surgery in Australia. Let's talk for Australia, right? Their face, their body, their boobs, their asses, their vaginas, everything getting plastic surgery. It's fact. I'm not being sarcastic. You watch what's going to happen to them, the cancer. The cancer's already built. Because we're all born with cancer. Can Cancer's been around for thousands of years on Earth. Earth is not a perfect 
um, planet. There have always been viruses and diseases on this planet, even long, long before. And we don't come from apes, by the way, friends. Some human species may, but we don't all. Cancer's been around forever. So as soon as you put something toxic in you, or you start scribbling with tattoos on your skin, I cannot believe that people get tattoos. And I knew from, from um, a primary school that if I got a pen and start scribbling on me, that this ink goes through my blood. I knew from primary school. And I didn't go to private school. And yet everyone now is getting tattoos. And when they're going to start getting diseases and dying off, oh, it's fucking COVID. Blame the vaccine they're going to blame. No, it's not the vaccine because no one has died from the vaccine. Not one fucking person has died from the vaccine. All the people around me are vaccinated. Everyone I deal with is vaccinated. And, and even unvaccinated got COVID. Even the unvaccinated got COVID and the vaccinated got COVID. This is all bullshit, everything that we've been told. And there's a lot of people like me that are thinking and saying the same thing. But instead of them wasting their time, like I am now online, telling the people these things, why I tell these things? Because it's a council and really. <laughs> I know, I know, it might not be motivating you the way you want and inspiring you the way you want. But hey, for two years for free, I've been trying to help people for free and motivate and wake up. And when I see things online and trolls and haters and people thinking, oh, whatever, I've got no job, this and that, go bloody do what you have to do to survive. Because no one has died from the vaccine. People have died from other issues. And you know what? You, me and everyone has got the Epstein-Barr virus, has got the herpes viruses, and there's hundreds of different of Epstein-Barrs and hundreds of different... Oh, yes, it's in the media too. Oh, yes, it's on medical websites also. Oh, yes, we all know about it. We all know about it, but no. Haters and, and hypochondriacs... And fake people prefer not to listen what's happening in the news in the world. And that's why you're going down and down and down and down and down and backwards. Because you can't prepare yourself. So when you know what's going to happen with interest rates, when you know what's going to happen in the economy, when you know what's going to happen in health, when you know that today, for instance, the kindergarten, the union organised the kindergarten teachers to go on strike. Don't complain about it. You won't have children. You can't look after them yourself. Let them go on strike. This is all politically motivated. Don't complain about it. If you want to have children or animals, you look after them. It's your responsibility, not a stranger. So when your kids get sick, don't start saying, oh, you know, it's the COVID shit or the vaccine shit. It's because you're neglecting them shit, sending them to places that... It, kindergarten teachers are not responsible for the welfare of your children. You're just parking them there because you want to go out for your coffees. You, oh, you poor mum, you know, you're stressed. Poor mums are so stressed today. We've got dishwashers, washing machines. We've got the freest life. You're going on holidays. You've got your four-wheel drives. You've got your life. Poor mums are so stressed. I'm not talking about women who've been under domestic violence, okay? they are going through it. Let's get be realistic. Don't try and find a fault in me when I haven't said something. And I've said it a million times in my posts. People who are very sick, and there are millions of people, like I was going through, who are very sick, no one's saying a word about them. Now, what's happened, that, talking about health, the Frankston Hospital here in Melbourne, the private hospital, is being paid mega bucks by my taxes and people who are working their asses off taxes to get public patients to go in the private system. There's going to be hiccups, a lot of hiccups. I can't get into the details. It's all admin related, right? So now the public patients are going to go to private hospital. So now I'm paying private cover every month, and I'm thinking a fortune, and I'm thinking... Will they have a bed for me if I need it? <laughs> Look, why can't they fix, put the beds in the public hospital system? Think about it. You know why? Because the private hospital is getting big bucks. It's called voting money. Because they're not going to treat you any different in the private sector. They're still public hospital. Because remember, they got, uh, was it 200 or 400 public hospital nurses to work in the private sector? So they've still got the same lazy attitude because we know how the public sector is. I mean, I do. I've been working there for at least 10 years. I know. I mean, fuck, you don't want to work. Make sure you're, you're on your break. Make sure you take the smoke out and then you're smoking and your, your cigarettes are on your fingers and then you start touching patients and things and whatever. No, we don't talk about the nurses who are smoking. No, we don't talk about that, right? We also don't talk about how in the restaurant industry how people are still using their hands 
and their mouth to breathe onto the food that we eat. I go out eating. I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm ingesting it too. Now. So don't listen to the news. Don't read the, the online. The newspapers are now online, right? Don't read this stuff and be in your own little bubble and under rock. That's all right. So then when you wake up, when, when, you're, when you're dead and you come back, because we all, all spirits come back to, the, this is where we all are, all the spirits are back on this planet. Trust me, we're all back on this planet, right? How do I know? I'm a clairvoyant. I see the spirits. I talk to them, I know, right? We're here. We don't go anywhere else. We're here. Because we don't deserve to go to a high vibration. We cannot go to a high vibration, friends. Everything around us, paper, everything, we've destroyed this freaking planet. No one is of a high vibration. Talking about high vibrations, there are crazy women and men in this country, I'm talking about in this country, who believe that they are reincarnated or that they've got the spirit of Palladian, Lemurian, Arcturian, um, what's the other countries that they've got the spirit and that's who they really are and the reason why they've got so much empathy and the reason why they're so sensitive is because they really are those spirit angels who are here on earth to try and wake up everyone else. Well, wake the fuck up, you idiots. You're human beings. You're a type of human species. You are not of a high vibration because let me tell you, I've met a lot of these delusional people. Either I don't know what drugs they're on and what medications they're on. Let me tell you something. I know a lady that a lot of you know of, right? A lot of you know of because she's got she's got all the psycho followers following her who believe she's a Palladian, yet she's neglected her children. Her own children don't even want to have anything to do with it because they know she's crazy. And you know what she turned around and said to me? She goes, that's their path, that's their life, that's how they're meant to be. And a lot of people in the fake New Age industry that I was part of for over 20 years until I realised recently how fake it is, and it's been manufactured by the same fake people who've created this fake world, they say that a baby or a person that is going through pain or trauma, that that's their life lesson. So you mean to tell me that a baby who has leukemia or who's died, you mean to tell me that that baby before it was born went to all the trouble of being in the mum's tummy for eight, nine months and said, as soon as I die, as soon as I'm born, I'm going to die of leukemia. What life lesson has that baby just learnt? Can you believe that the millions and, and millions of people that follow this bullshit in the New Age industry believe that? That they believe that if you get raped... If you're suffering, if you're going through hell, and if you've got problems in your life, they're saying that we made that decision before we were born, before we came to earth, that we were going to, that we decided to go through that experience. Really. So before I was born, I said to myself, Paris, make sure your uncle rapes you, because I had incest for my uncle when I was young. Make sure you have attempted rapes and date rapes in your 20s, because that's what happened to me, right? Make sure your parents screw you over and betray you for decades of your life, because that's what I've gone through. You mean that I chose that because that's the happy life that I want? Who believes this bullshit? Who believes this bullshit, friends? Let me tell you, if I married a, a druggie, wouldn't my life, isn't our life determined according to the environment and the people that we're with? If I married a druggie, wouldn't I be in a mess? If I married someone successful with values and whatever, wouldn't my life be according because I'd be around those people? That's why I block everyone physically from my life, family and friends and online because I don't want those people around me. There's people out there that actually believe that they've been put here on the planet to raise the vibrations of others whilst their own life, they neglect their responsibilities. Now, we all have problems, we all have challenges, and we all have health issues. If you don't have health issues now, you're going to cop them really bad later on. Really bad later on. You watch what's going to happen in your 60s, 70s, and 80s, if you make it that far. If people can 
cannot be responsible for themselves and their children and their partners and the close people around them who deserve that, especially children. They are not of a high vibration. No one has come to this planet of high vibration neglecting their children and neglecting themselves. That's not what a high vibration is about. Raising your vibrations is about res being responsible for yourself, being ethical and empathic with people and the environment around you. Raising your vibrations to all the stupid, idiot, new age people who eat animals who you, you have learned and read have got souls, who've got hearts, who've got feelings, who've got telepathy. And if you knew anything about animals during the Atlantean times and Lemurian times, you'd know that animals were actually, tele because that's how they communicated then telepathically, were, were teaching us, were teaching, because animals are of a higher vibration than people. And they were teaching us things in life. Everything. How can people be... Sp I used to have these arguments when I was sitting in, um, in workshops. I used to do, you know... Um, uh, uh, mediumship workshops and clairvoyant workshops and all sorts of different workshops and different, you know, that witches run and everyone else run. I didn't realise they were black witches. And all these other fake spiritual people, the Spiritual Society, you know, Becker Street in Melbourne and all that. I don't understand how these people can eat animals when spirituality talks about respecting souls and people around us. Isn't that a contradiction in itself? Isn't that a contradiction? I mean, how can people say they're religious and that they believe in a God and Jesus? How can they... If Jesus and God... I'm not religious. That kind of religion. I'm not... Because that's modern religion. That's a marketed and manufactured religion. Right? I'm into... I believe in, in another real spirituality. Not this made-up spirituality. The past couple hundred thousand years or whatever not even thousand years if you believe in a god in jesus and you believe that god in jesus is about goodness and love and what why are you harming the environment why are you out there harming animals why are you eating them you know i mean i meet so many people who are regarded as acquaintances and you know i had a lady recently say to me Oh, I know Paris, you're vegan or whatever. You don't eat animals. Oh, I eat meats. And I was about to tell her, have you looked at yourself in the mirror? Have you looked at yourself at the mirror, in the mirror what you look like? Uh, did you just listen to what you just said? Do you know what meat is? Do you know that it actually comes from a, a live animal? An animal? We're an animal too. We're, a non, we're an animal. Animals are non-human animals. We're an animal. Did you know that they have a heart, soul... A liver, a kidney, eyes, hands, feet, and they feel also. But I can't talk to people like that. Because when they come with stupid comments like that, I know that their brain is completely fucked up. And like I was saying about the tattoos, how can you get a, 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 something done on you when you don't research it? Anything you put on your skin, moisturizers, suntan lotions, makeup, um, anything, the skin has got pores. So people who are wearing masks like astronauts during COVID, you know who you are. <laughs> you really are bloody idiots because we've got pores, our whole body, not pores like in dog pores, we've got holes, our whole body's got pores. Our skin, our forehead, our hair, our scalp, our everything. Clothes, things stick on our clothes. Diseases and germs stick on our clothes. I mean, you wouldn't be wearing, when you're doing gardening outside, even dealing with soil and, and that, you wouldn't be wearing the same clothes inside the house because you're bringing in all the soil. You're bringing in all, I mean, where's the common sense? All germs and bacteria is on our clothes and on our shoes. I mean, you walk out on the shoes where people have shit, have pissed, dogs have shit, pissed, whatever. There's viruses, there's germs and whatever. And yes, they exist. There's different viruses that don't need heat to exist. There's all sorts of germs out there. And then you walk in your house and then you let your baby play on the carpet and on the tiles. You let your dogs on the, on the tiles and the carpet and then you let your dogs in the bed. People aren't thinking right. It's, you know, it's interesting. Anthony Williams said the other day, 
a medical medium, that the heart, that the brain has the soul. And I believe that. It's got part of the soul. Of course it does. Because the brain tells you when you're in love. The brain tells you when you hate, when you hate, when you're jealous. It's the brain that tells you. It's the brain that tells you. The brain is alive. You take a brain out. The brain is alive. It's not, if it was just dead, then we wouldn't be able to think, talk, or do anything. You know, people are brain dead. The, I mean, but they can still think and see when they're in comas. When they're in comas, they could be brain dead, but they still, they can still sense and hear things. But if your brain is dead, you can't talk, you can't do nothing. People are not cleaning their brain. They say things and doing things online. It's, it's just, I just can't understand it. So don't listen to the news, don't listen to the docos. Don't listen to anything. So that way you live under a rock and 10, 20, 30 years later when your life is nothing because you're lucky if you're going to live 60, 70, 80 years. You're lucky. You're lucky if you're going to live 60, 70, 80 years. And if you've spoiled the hell out of your kids, they'll do anything to rush to get you into aged care or to kill you off so they can get your money. It's that simple. It's a reality. It's happening. It's been happening. Right? So child care. I don't know if, is it Victoria or New South Wales that shut down today? Something's happened because they're going on strike, all union related. And the unions are not the way they used to be 50, 60, 70, 80 years ago. They're all fake. They're all fear mongering and they're all fake. Right? Okay. So you don't want to know what's happening social about rapes and killings. That's all right. Don't listen to the media. You don't want to know about the economy and business so you can do something better for your life. That's all right. Sleep under a rock. You don't want to hear about job situations. People aren't working. They're over in Bali, they're over holidaying. Because they got so spot with sitting around for two years. Because that's what happens, you see. When people are spoiled for two years doing nothing, because a lot of us still worked over two years. When people are doing nothing, people get complacent and say, oh, I'm getting paid for sitting around doing nothing. I can sell my drugs and do my drugs and do stuff and whatever and do dirty business. Because have you seen how many drugs are coming in the country? Who's selling them and who's taking it? I know who it is. They say it in the news, but you don't want to hear the news. You don't want to hear the news, do you? No, no, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to know anything about that. And the rates have gone up, but you don't want to know about that because you probably don't care about cash in your bank where the rates are going up. You're getting more, you know, for your money, right? And boo-hoo, it's not 20%. It's the same shit we went through in the, in the, in the 90s, right? And today, it's, life is so much better. And I'll tell you why. Because we have the internet. And there's so many opportunities to learn how to make money and what to do and where to work. So many jobs. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Like, what do people want? I was in my 20s, 30s having two, three jobs, waitering this and that and whatever. What is the problem? Oh, no, we can't work. Oh, no, we can't do that. No, we can't get our hands dirty or our house dirty. No, we've got to do luxury jobs. We all want to be Kardashians. You've forgotten how they started. You've forgotten how they started. Right? Right. I don't care the reasons, like I said, that the media might, might not be transparent about the reasons of things happening, why this is happening to the, to the stock exchange or why that's happening or why this or why that or whatever. Like when people get raped, they don't often say it's because the rapists are on drugs or there's some kind of a dead or they don't all, always say that. I don't care about that. I'm just telling you the facts of what it is. There's a lot, the other thing that a lot of people don't want to know about is the animal abuse. And I'm going to shove it down your throats and I don't care and you can switch off. Because I don't understand why over 20 years ago I became vegetarian, vegan because I knew that meats, fish, dairy and all that are, are toxic for the liver and the kidneys. I knew that. I read that. I was living my pretentious lifestyle and I said, well, that's not good. And I suffered consequences as a result of all the meats and all the fish and all the um, dairy and the coffees and everything that I was drinking and eating all my life, it hit me bad in the 40s. And it's going to hit you too. It doesn't matter how much you go jogging, how much exercise and how much gym and how vegan you are, it doesn't matter. It's going to hit you. It hits you under stress. Physical or emotional stress, it's going to hit you. It's going to hit you. And if you're vegan and you're having soy and corns, it's going to hit you even more. I mean, I say to vegans that soy is toxic and, 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 and like they look at me like I'm a demon. They won't even ask, oh, why Paris do you say that? What information do you have that? Do you have any links you can send me? Or maybe you can get off your own ask and research and find out that all soy is GM, whether it's organic or not. Same with corn. Right. 
nature. What are we doing? I was watching a, a documentary last week from uh, Simon Reeves. Right? Was it on SBS? I can't remember. Simon Reeves, you know that guy? I think he's from England. And he goes around and does documentaries. And this was a repeat. The plastic that is in the... How do you say the island? The Maldives? Is it the Maldives? If you see the rubbish... The rubbish that the, all the, because there's many islands, dump in the water, dump in the water. And then all that toxicity in those fumes goes into the water where tourists go and swim. And that goes in all your pores and on your clothes. Then you go back to your country and you say, oh, I'm sick, it must be the, the vaccine or the virus. No, they don't look at all the plastic and all the rubbish, you know, out, out of mind, out of sight, out of mind. No, but you don't want to watch these documentaries. You don't know what's going on in our waters that are filthy. Did you know, friends, here in Victoria, because I was living in Sandringham with my ex-husband for years, did you know that the beaches at Morris Mentone and those, those beaches are so toxic, you wouldn't want to put your nail in the water? Did you know that? And did you know? No, no, because you don't want to get anything from the meter, right? If you get your phone, well, I'm talking on the phone, you can actually join for free the app, the EPA app, I think it is. It tells you every day which beaches not to touch are toxic. No, but you don't want to know that, right? You don't want to know that. No, because it's someone else and something else that's made you sick. No, it's not because you went in toxic water to have a swim. Now, the real estate agents aren't going to tell you that. Councils aren't going to tell you that. Every day you can get on your app, it tells you which beaches are toxic. You don't want to know that. No, we don't want to know that. Let's go and sit under a... Let's go and sit under a cave until we drop dead, right? And then when you resurrect as a spirit, you come to me and you say, Oh, gee, Paris, I wish I knew that. And then I'm going to say to you, Well, I told you so. Now, people stranded at airports. We've known about the, prob the airport problems now for close to a year. Since we got out of lockdowns. We've known about it. So people complaining, Oh, I can't come back from Bali, can't do this. Well, tough luck. Tough luck. It's your effing problem. Because you knew before you left Australia that there's problems at the airport. So it's like me telling you, don't drive on that road, on um, Block Road, because there's holes everywhere and you won't be able to get through. But you're still driving through. And you managed to get through, but you can't come back. Well, I told you. I told you there were holes there. That's what I'm saying. There's something wrong with people in their brains. And the other thing, I've never been to Bali and I'll never go. I don't understand how people can go to a country where there is slave child labour and slave labour and the highest prostitution. I don't get it. Where you can walk in the streets and you're just laughing seeing people that are so poor. I don't know how you can consciously do that. I don't know how any person with any heart or soul can consciously walk through Bali or Philippines or any of these other countries and you're seeing poor people and don't give me, oh, we're giving them a job. Because they're getting, they're lucky to get a dollar a day. And that's slave labor. And then you get some bimbos on Facebook last week saying, oh, the Australian um, industries now want to hire our 13-year-old kids. Because they want to do that. The fashion industry can't find stuff. And they want to fight. So what? I was working at 13, 40. What's the problem? No one said anything then, 40 years ago. Didn't harm me. It taught me a lot about people and business and whatever. And I did a lot in life. And I'm still doing a lot in life. You guys have no idea what I'm doing in life. I just don't have time to have the camera up my ass to show everyone what I'm doing. You see me in my tracksuit, you think, oh, Paris is just a feathered whatever. Right? So what if they're working from 13? Would you rather your kids be sitting on their asses or on their, computer, on their computers or or on their skateboards, 13-year-olds. Only in countries like Australia and maybe England are 13-year-olds going to shopping centres, hanging out, getting their nails done. I mean, chicks at 13 look like prostitutes. I'm sorry to say, it's true. At 13. I mean, they just got their period and they're looking like prostitutes. I mean, what the hell's going on? Doing their manicures and their minis up their vaginas and their bus tops and their boobs hanging out. They don't have much there. But their pop-up bras. I mean, seriously, would you rather have your kids like that? Oh, but of course, if mum's like that, she's going to want her, her child to be a mini-me. Right? Her daughter or her son to be a mini-me. Wouldn't you prefer your 13-year-old child be out there 
in an ethical, responsible, professional environment and learn about things? So they can be the multimillionaire that you want them to be? Right? Don't you want them while they study? You know, I was, I was at a, um, a restaurant the other night, a local Mornington restaurant, the other night, and there was, um, I noticed there was a change of staff, and they were very young. I was telling Philip, staff is very young, like they looked 16, 17, compared to the other ones that were in their 20s, 30s, 40s when we used to go. And it's a nice restaurant. And I pulled over one of the waiters, the guy who must have been around 16, 17, a lovely young man, Anglo background. And I said, Dad, I've noticed there's a lot of change of staff here. What's going on again? A lot of younger staff. He just said a lot of staff have left, and I'm thinking, well, probably to Bali. A lot of staff have left, he goes, and whatever. And I said, well, that's very good of you to work. I said, do you get tired? I said, I assumed I knew that he went to school because he had a certain persona about him. You can read people from their eyes and their body language, right? You can tell which people are educated and can't. You, you just can. I can read people. If you can't, I can. And I said, are you tired? I said, the next day going to school, I go, you're up late till nine, ten o'clock working here in the restroom. I bet he goes, but it doesn't matter, he said. I said, well, it's very good of you. I go, do you enjoy the change of environment? I said, I'm sure I go that you're a very mature young man and it's a change of environment from the bullies at school. He goes, that's true, he said. I'm in an adult environment. I said, you know what, guy? You're going to get far. You're going to do very well in your life, I said, with that attitude. Because I said, this is how life is. And he's learning from 16, 17 how life is. Oh, but no. You can't have kids from the Greek or Italian culture, especially the Greek that can't be working. Oh, no. Oh, no, we can't have them getting tired and working. No. No, we can't have that because mum and daddy's going to buy them the house when they get married, you see, so why should they work? Mum and daddy pays, help pays for their holidays and their furniture and everything because mum and daddy, you see, who are my age group in the 50s, want to show off to all the other Greeks and Italians that their kids are living a good life. Then when mommy and daddy dies, the kids get the inheritance, blow the inheritance, have financial problems when they're in their 60s, 70s. This is the kids. And then when mommy and daddy's not around to pick up the pieces for them anymore. It's really stuffed what they're doing. I could use the F word, but I've used it a lot. It's really stuffed what the Greek culture is doing in Australia to their kids. They don't want them to work hard. And not only that, these small brats see people my age, I'm double their age, who have achieved and acquired things, and they want what I want. What I have. I'm in my 50s, and I have things that took me 40 years, whatever, to to, to do. Because even if my daddy was spoon-feeding me in my 20s, I know what I was doing. My mind, mother doesn't even know what I was doing. I was working, reading, studying. She knows nothing. She never asked. My own family don't even know what I do. They never asked. In fact, I can't remember in the past 30 years asking me, How's work today? What are you doing? What are you studying? Nothing. No. Because the more I educated myself, you see, the more I worked. They didn't want that. Oh, no, because I wasn't relying on mummy and daddy. That's the difference with the billionaires and the trillionaires and others. They make sure their kids learn everything and they teach them the tricks of the trade and they mentor them. This is the difference. Whereas the Greek families just give, give, give. Give, give, give. There's a lot of Aussie families, but I noticed... A lot of the Anglo-Aussie families, the kids actually work in the business. Oh, but no, we can't get the girls and the boys and the Greek families. Can't get their hands dirty. No, we can't do that. Oh, no, my kids don't work. They've got a Mac mansion and they've got their luxury cars and they've got their holidays and that. But no, they, and then they go holidaying and everyone thinks, oh, wow. Yeah, it's the parents that are giving them the money. We know that. We know who's buying them the houses and the cars and who's, and who's feeding them. We know how it works. We know how it works. It's all right. You watch what's going to happen. They're going to just kick their parents in the aged care and tell them to F off when they don't want to look after the, when they get the inheritance. They don't care anymore. Unregulated plastic surgery industry in Australia. I learned that in the news. Watching, was it 60 Minutes? Oh, no, but don't watch it. Don't make me convince you to watch what's happening in the world. You don't want to know that. So next time your boobs pop, because the plastic surgeon didn't do the right thing, don't go complaining to the governor generals and the government and whatever, because before you get anything done to yourself, you need to research. If something goes wrong, what happens? Just like if you want to get surgery done, don't you do research or not? You just trust whatever they tell you, do they? The Medical Association has kicked out the best brain surgeon probably on this planet, Charlie Tao, and he's gone off to Spain healing people there 
and you trust the Medical Association of Australia that is unregulated? Talking about Australia. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, I'm drinking Mulane tea. And you know what? If you knew what it was, you'd go and buy it straight away. But you don't want me telling you things that I learn in the media and online, do you? You Surely you don't want me to teach you about the Mulane flowers that contain the most powerful antibacterial and, and unbelievable properties that have the ability to remove phlegm from the lungs and mucus from the body. You don't have to have dairy to have mucus. This makes it a highly effective remedy for individuals who are suffering from bronchitis, lung congestion, colds, flu, asthma, emphysema, whooping cough or any other. No, but you don't want to know about Mulan flowers, surely, because I've learned this also online. You don't want to know about these things. Just go under the rock and blame all your health problems on a vaccine, right? On someone else. Blame it on someone else. It's always someone else's fault. Always blame someone else. You don't want to get Mulan flowers that you can get from australherbs.com.au. No, you don't want to get that. You don't want to know how this has saved my life and everything else that I get has saved my life. You don't want to know that I was bedridden for over a decade, 15, 20 years, and that I couldn't move and that I've healed myself. No, you don't want to know that. You don't want to know that I've learnt all these things from the medical medium, Anthony William, that I've spent over $150,000 the past 20 years trying to better my health with all the bullshit people in the new age and the alternative and the medical industry who all they said to me when they saw me sick was go home and rest. You don't want to know about that. Just go and sit under a rock. Next, haters and lazies, just like Steve, um, Steve Harvey who will watch, that great black guy overseas in America. I like Steve Harvey. Yes, he talks about God a lot and about how God gives you strength and this and that and whatever. And that's fine because everyone's got a different perception of what their God looks like. My God looks like a big parrot. Your God might look like a certain person, might have a beard or might be wearing Versace clothes. I don't know what your God looks like. We all have a different perception. Steve Harvey, look him up. He's amazing from where he came from. Nothing. The motivational talks he gives, the advice he gives people, whatever. I mean, I've been doing it too, but he's listening to me. I'm not dressed in a suit and on a stage to look good because I just don't have the time for it at the moment. Right? It doesn't matter. But people, unfortunately, you know, friends, when I used to have low tops and my boobs showing, I had hundreds and hundreds of views. But no, of course, because people still want to see people. It's what you look like that people follow you. It's what you look like. They don't want people like me, no makeup, no nothing, no, no, no professional hair, professional clothes. No, you don't want to listen to someone like me because I couldn't possibly make sense. But isn't it funny? In 2020 in Australia, many alleged, many Australians of different backgrounds we're following the fake Greek Cypriot Thanos, the, the fake embryo, I call him an embryo because he's only 20 years old, he was, um, Raphael, following the Jewish um, Jonases and the Jewish ring re democracy, all these, all, all the, 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 the head banged, um, head bashed Craig Cole, right, the wrestlers, I mean, you get bashed left, right and centre, following all these people who look like shit, who spoke shit, you're following them. Isn't it funny? Isn't it funny how people choose people who are all about bad news, hypochondria and negative. And you don't want in Australia to follow people who are giving you motivation, inspiration to get off your ass and work. Because you know what, friends, it takes work. That takes work. Because you can't get up in the morning, relax, have your coffee, sit back, your smoke -o, and shit and whatever. You can't, well, if you want to achieve something in life, you've got to be working from 2, 3, 4, 5 in the morning. Now, we can't do that in Australia. We can't possibly be all high achievers in Australia, right? No, we can't do that. We've got to sit back. Do you know that the University of Queensland, in their newsletter, is teaching the students of how to be professional crooks, of how to steal? Steal from people like me, who work and break our backs and our asses to do things for ourselves and also, it's not just for ourselves, we spend hundreds of thousands of dollars rescuing parrots, right? And I also help people for nothing. And I help someone on the road if someone needs help. I'll give them something. 
And Philip's been doing it for decades and I've been doing it. And I've been volunteering a lot at hospitals and everywhere and everywhere and anywhere. While I was debilitated sick. But uh, some people know, of course, no. No, 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 no. We're coughing, we're sneezing, we can't work. Let's get the COVID payout payment. You don't realise a COVID payment is great. Is great assistance in this country. But you've got to take advantage of it and do something good for yourself. Not just sit back and go on holidays and do nothing in your life. Now, what else is it that you don't want to know? Do you know what I watched on Dateline last night? Was it Dateline or Compass on TV? Now, don't listen to me because you don't want to hear what's going on in Mexico. How they feed the babies and all the people. There's no water and they feed them Coca-Cola. No, no, no. Switch off. You don't want to hear the news. You don't want to hear the media. Switch off. Switch off your haters and your idiots. The brain's not working. That's what's happened with you. Your brain's not working. You don't want to hear on the news. And this is a repeat. I watched this 10 years ago. Do you know in Mexico, they purposely don't give fresh water to the people. The poor people, of course, not the rich people. They don't have fresh water infrastructure pipes in Mexico. Because they give the babies from the baby bottles Coca-Cola, sugary drinks. That's what they give them from babies. And people are dying of diabetes left, right and centre of all ages. Not just older and younger. Now you don't want to know that. And people in Australia are complaining about what we have. I understand. Not everything is perfect in Australia. In fact, it's, it, it, it's, it's been worse for over 50 years. But a lot of people just haven't seen it. Because there weren't videos. We couldn't circulate videos and information online the way we do now. All this stuff is repeats. The plastic in the sea environment is a repeat. Probably uh, at least 10 years old. Same with the Coca-Cola. Do you understand? In Mexico, they are feeding babies. The parents think that Coca-Cola is good. They have shamans. And by the way, shamans, anyone calls themselves shamans, all frauds. All frauds. Even the ones in Australia, all of them, you're all frauds. Right? All frauds. You don't even know what a shaman is. People think they're shamans. Oh, Paris, you think you know everything, blah, 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 blah. Well, maybe I know one thing extra than you. Maybe. Just like someone else knows one thing extra than I do. And they teach me. And that's how I've learned what I've learned today. That's what I've learned. There are no shamans. And the shamans in Mexico giving the sick people Coca-Cola to heal them. Just like all the people here. The healers, giving them dope, telling them dope and alcohol and all that shit to heal them. I've been through it. I haven't taken it. I've been to all these healers. It's all bullshit. They may know how to read your auras, but friends, just because someone is a clairvoyant or medium doesn't mean they're a good person. Because all companies, all companies and all organizations who are successful all have their clairvoyance all have their mediums, all have their vision boards. And yet I bet most of you don't have your vision boards. You can have a piece of paper. If there's the notes that I was talking today. A piece of paper and write down what you want. To, what you want. Even Steve Harvey spoke about it and I was surprised because I watch his video on TikTok. Right? And by the way, social media does not censor us. It's the governments in every country. I've been saying this for two years now. The comments that are from the trolls and the haters, I block them all. I've known people for two years now. I tell you what I've learned the past two years, friends. I've been through hell with family, with relatives, with my ex's family, with my current husband's family, with my own family, with all my relatives. I've been through hell. With people overseas, the people here, I've been through hell. Right? I've been through absolute hell. But I never knew. I'd never experienced the betrayal. I've written it here. The betrayal, how feral, how dishonest, how narcissistic people are, as I have the past two years. I made a lot of friendships with a lot of women and men online. Some of them I even met in person. They were all fakes, all frauds. All fakes, all frauds. I cannot believe, I cannot believe how I'd say nine out of ten people online who were all in all these freedom groups, if not 99.9%, .9 were all fake. 
They exist. They're real people. But they pretend. They pretend to be who they are. They were just there um, just to promote more negative. And you know what? The more these groups and these individuals via Telegram or BitChute or whatever talk about negative stuff, the more they manifest it. Let me explain something. If I've got a broken cup, it's broken. I'm not going to talk two years about how broken it is. The first minute I see it broken, I'm going to say, how can we fix it? They're not fixing anything. No one is fixing anything. They're just complaining, complaining, complaining. They're not doing anything. Nothing's been done. And that's why I left the Dr. Shiva group over in America, another fraud. He just wants to set his foot in the political circles. Right? I tell you what's wrong with him. He just only had political interests. Because I couldn't understand why he wasn't doing any protests. He wasn't doing anything. So what do I do with people? See, people underestimate me. Everyone underestimates me. They still do. Right? I join people's groups. Because I genuinely want to get to know them. And genuinely. I mean, I know from the start who they are and what they're about. But I say, let's see how far they're going to go. Let's see how far they're going to go with their bullshit. Right? So with Dr. Shiva's group, I took it, I got involved. This is Dr. Shiva, uh, uh, whatever his surname is, overseas, the Indian guy. And I'm thinking, what is he doing? He wasn't doing any protests. He was just repeating, repeating everything. It's exactly what these groups are doing, repeating, repeating, repeating. And, and, I, and, and I'm blocking and unfollowing everyone here in Australia. There was a stupid woman here, right? And she said on Facebook, oh, look, they're trying to take cash away from us. Excuse me, lady. Who's got cash these days? Who deals with cash these days? I've been, paying, been paid electronically for most of my life. Who deals with cash? Sure, there's going to be a bit of cash here and there. But you're not going to be able to buy cars or houses with cash unless you're dealing with drugs and illegal stuff. And you think by using cash that they don't know what you're buying and what you're doing? Cameras have been around for over 100 years. We've had satellites. Satellites are cameras. They don't need to have cameras in the streets. They can have satellites. Satellites have been around for, I'd say, well, if I'd be honest with you, they've been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Even longer, because the, the Egyptians and all these other people who've come to this planet and whatever, they've all got satellites. They've all got advanced technology. We're not using technology to the extent that we should. So anyway, I won't keep you guys longer because I've got a lot of work and responsibilities here. And sorry if I raised my voice earlier. I just get a bit passionate. It's a Scorpio in me. I can't help it. It's, my, it's a good thing, isn't it? I'm passionate. It's a good thing. Next time someone says to me, don't listen to the media, don't watch the media, and don't read the media, it's because they don't want me to know what's going on in the world. There are so many things that are going on in the world. Like I said, there might be different reasons behind it. It doesn't matter. There are people who need us. There is nature that needs us. Animals, birds. There are countries that need our help. Especially countries like Mexico. Who are feeding their babies and their people Coca-Cola as their water. Has anyone protested for that? Has anyone said anything about that? But no, you're just worried because... You can't come back from Bali when your brain already knew that there were going to be plane problems anyway. It's your fault if you're stuck in Bali. Suck it up. You knew about the problems in advance. You knew about the problems in advance. And just like now, there are people out there that do not want to admit that viruses exist. You are effing idiots. They've been around for thousands of years. Natural ones and man-made ones. Epstein-Barr, herpes viruses, the kissing disease, all that, has been around forever. And yet there's people online who are, have brainwashed and convinced Freedom Group that these things don't exist. There's seriously something wrong with you. There's seriously something wrong with you if you have not had the brain ability to research and to see that bugs exist and bacteria and viruses exist. There's seriously something wrong with you. I don't know what else to say. So that is why I read and I listen and I watch documentaries in the media. 
because there are accidents, there are laws, there are so many issues happening all over the world and I want to know about everything. I want to know about everything, about homelessness, about how the rich survive, what they do so I can apply their marketing ideas to my businesses, to what I want to do in life, to everything. I like to know about everything around me so I can pick and choose what suits my life so I can move forward. Because if you are lucky, if you are lucky, you will live to 60. If you are lucky, you will live to 70, 80, 90 without dementia. If you are lucky. No point living to 90, 100 with dementia. I mean, like, what's the point? And what's dementia? It's all the toxins in the brain. Tattoos, coffee, eggs, cigarettes, drugs, heavy foods. Right? All these things. All these things. Kidney problems. It's all poisons that are stuck in the kidneys and can't be flushed out. Can't go into the liver and flushed out. Right? Don't say, oh, I drink my lemon, I do this, I'm healthy and whatever. And then, you know, you're eating meats and you're eating dairies and you're eating this and seafood and stuff and whatever. And tattooing and drugs and alcohol and stuff. No, it doesn't work that way, friends. Because what I'm seeing now is people between... People who are able to live to 70... If they've got no health problems, they'll be not bad. But if you've got health problems between 70 to 80, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. You're really going to struggle to make it. Because 70 to 80, the body has accumulated so many toxins. Not just in this lifetime, but from your parents and your grandparents. Like there's a lot of people now in their 20s and 30s who have kids. And they're young and their babies may have had problems. Or the young, or when they're young, they've got health problems. Well, you watch the problems that those babies, when they grow up, and the kids are going to have. They're going to show them up before ten. You watch the health problems because you've passed them on. You've taken drugs. You've taken alcohol. Your parents were on alcohol. Your parents were on drugs. Your grandparents were, and all this goes down. So when people say, "Well, my grandfather didn't have these issues," well, maybe your grandfather's parents or grandparents didn't work in mining. weren't smokers, weren't drinkers. They didn't have all the toxins of today. You see, that's why they were able to live till 100 smoking. But all that has gone through to your parents and then through to you and through to your kid. And this is why there are health problems. And I've learnt a lot about myself from my health issues. And I've learnt a lot by reading all of Anthony Williams' books. Because his books have been read and edited by medical professionals. And he talks about the history of how things have started with viruses, the Epstein Barr and all that, in the you know late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds. He talks about all this stuff. No one else does. No one else does. And I'm on so many Facebook groups, you know, for fibromyalgia and chronic uh, fatigue and all that. And oh, you know, I'm on these medications and I'm suffering, and my husband's suffering, whatever. And I'm thinking, not only you put information in medical medium. Like, they won't even let me put on, you know, have coriander or have parsley to flush everything out or, you know, have lemon water. You know, I mean, they don't want to even know about healthy foods. It's that simple. They don't want to know. And yet there are millions of people that do know. People like me who tried everyone and everything and we got nowhere. And that's why then we bumped into the medical meeting. It led me there. He led a lot of us there because we've been through it. There's a lot of you who are working, living, holidaying and haven't had hard physical problems. You don't want to know about this stuff. But when you're dying because of all the alcohol you're having and all the meats you're having and all the other heavy foods and dirty foods and you're not washing organic foods and you're not washing stuff and you're living in invisible mold or an obvious mold, I mean... I remember talking to a lady who was renting, you know, in a multi place, in a, with mold. It was, she could see the mold, and she had young kids. And I said, "You got to literally get out now, because that mold will be in your body, and it's going to be so hard to get it out." She didn't care, because it didn't impact her then. But a year later, two years later, five, ten years later, when it impacts them and they get cancers and leukemias and all sorts of problems, ah. Oh! It was the mould. It was the mould. Mould is, is huge. You can't see it. 
you can't see it. You can see it when it gets really bad black, but a lot of times you can't. There's no regulation on that, friends, in Australia. There's no regulation for landlords to have a healthy place. And you know what? If my if I'm renting out my place to you and my place is full of mould and you're willing to give me five hundred dollars a week for a dump, whose fault is that? If you're giving me money to kill yourself in my unhealthy property, whose fault is that? If I'm able to get money for nothing, who's the stupid one here? And this is why all these things are happening. Because people are accepting everything. They're accepting everything. Anyway, friends, I'll let you guys go. I think I've said enough. Um, I'm beyond disgusted. The amount of people in Australia, the past two years, who I've met, and it's turned out all to be fake and betray and, and not care about anyone else but themselves. But at least I know. Now I know. I'm not going to waste my time, money and resources anymore with these people. Now I know. I just spend all my time and energy rescuing parrots, loving and caring for my husband, and anyone else who crosses my path who deserves my time and respect. Anyway, everyone, I've got a huge day. I've got more rescues today. A lot of people are giving up their birds because the birds, unfortunately, are impacting in their lives in some way or another, good or bad. So it's constant rescues. Thanks for listening. Let you guys go. If you want to put some comments, it won't hurt. I know the haters and, and the jealous people aren't going to leave any comments because you don't want me to know who you are. I know who you are, clairvoyantly, right? But if you say hi, Paris, have a great day, that's a nice thing, you know, so I don't feel like I'm just talking to myself because I see how many views I have, but no one has the common courtesy to say, hi, Paris, nice to meet you, or have a nice day. So have a fabulous day, everyone. Have an abundant day. Get your vision boards out and write stuff. If you write bad things, it's going to bounce back in your life. If you write good things, it's going to come in your life. Just be careful what you write. Make sure it's what you really want. Okay? Sending you abundance and high vibrations to everyone out there who deserves it. Like my t-shirt says, love more. Have a great Wednesday. Bye, everyone. Bye.